What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about proxies, how to create them and how to use them. Now let's get started. If you enjoy watching the videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Now in this video, we're going to talk about proxies. Now the biggest benefit of proxies is you can create smaller files to make your computer edit faster and more efficient. So if you have an old computer and you're trying to maybe even just edit basic high def footage, but you're trying to do color correction, you're trying to do different effects, your computer can get bogged down. Proxies will save your life. So let's jump down here in the timeline. So I just have this simple little video of a river, but let's just pretend that I'm struggling with this and my computer doesn't handle it well. Come over here into the project panel and you have your videos. You can do this to one video, to two videos, to 10 videos. I'll just do one for example. I'm gonna right mouse click it once it's highlighted and you're gonna see where it says proxy. Come over to say create proxies. It's gonna give this create proxy window. Come down to format, you have H.264 or you have QuickTime. It's your preference, just depends on whatever media you like to work with. I'm gonna stick with H.264. And then there's presets, you can do low resolution, medium resolution, and high resolution. I'm gonna do the lowest resolution because essentially you're doing this because your computer can't keep up with it. So might as well do it the lowest possible resolution to make it as easy as possible. And then come down here to destination where you want these proxies created and stored. This first one is just check next to original media in a proxy folder. So wherever your original media is from this video, this video itself, it'll place a new folder. It literally be labeled proxy folder. And that's where all these smaller resolution videos are gonna be stored. Now I'm gonna click okay here. And it's saying it's creating new proxies, but I'm gonna come down here to my uh, media encoder because that's where it sends it. And you're gonna see here, it's creating a low resolution proxy. So when you come back to Premiere Pro, you don't have to mess with um, Adobe Encoder. It'll do it in the background. It'll just create a proxy. The Premiere Pro will know where it is and find it on its own. So it appears like nothing has changed. If I move this along, it still has that same high quality video. But the key is how to activate and toggle the proxy to tell Premiere Pro that I want to edit from those proxies to make things run smoother. You have to toggle it on and off. And one thing I want to make clear, it doesn't affect your original media whatsoever. It keeps it 100% high resolution, whatever it was before. So if it's 4K, 6K, 8K, whatever it is, it's not going to affect that file whatsoever. Just during the organization and the edit and the structure, it's, it's going to give you these slimmed down resolution files that are much easier to process just as a reference for editing. So when you go to export the final product, it's gonna export fully 4K or 8K or whatever the original media is. So your final product's gonna have nothing to do with the proxies. The proxies are just to help you during the editing process. So let's head up here into the program monitor. And I already have it locked in here. It says toggle proxies, but you're not gonna see that because I've added it. So how you add it is come over here to the plus sign, open the button editor up, and you're gonna see all the different things that you can do to add to this little bar down here for a shortcut. So you can see the toggle proxies. You would just grab it, drag it, and drop it wherever you want it. But I already have mine in there, so I'm gonna cancel that. You'll see this image down here, this little icon, toggle proxies. So I'm gonna to move to a place that's pretty obvious. So focus right here on this rock. This is still my high def footage. And when I toggle the proxy on, you're gonna see it kind of gets a little less quality and it's just less sharp. It's gonna be subtle, but just pay attention to it. So now it's on. So this is now the proxy file, which is the lower resolution that it just created by me making the proxy. So you can tell it's lower resolution. I'm gonna toggle this back and forth and you can see the difference. So that's the original file and that's the proxy. So you can see it's blurred out a little bit and it's definitely less definition. And then that's back to a regular full definition. But the beauty is that if we keep it like this and you have your whole timeline, all your heavy videos down to proxies, when you're adding effects and you're doing color correction and you're doing transitions and title and you have five, six layers and your computer's struggling, these are super low resolution proxies that it's reading from to do the edits. So then in the timeline, it won't be struggling as you're trying to edit. And then when you're done and you've kind of organized, edited, color correction, everything, all of your small resolution proxies, just toggle it back out. And then now you have your final edit done. Just open up the export window, which is Command M or you can obviously go up here to file, export, and same window. And even though I created those low resolution proxies, I still have my original video resolution at 60 frames per second, where the other the proxies I created, I think are just standard def, it's not even 720. And then when I export, 
it's going to be exactly the full resolution of the video. It just enabled me to edit with a smaller low resolution file. We cancel that out, cancel that. So that's the simplest way to make proxies. If you're struggling with your edit and you're constantly having to render and you're constantly having to turn the effects on and off because you, you, your computer just can't handle it all, create proxies, save yourself the headache and edit much faster. Now, if you have a new strong computer and you're editing just basic footage, you might never need to do this. This is just for people that are struggling when their computer can't handle the video files. Just create a quick proxy and then when you export it, it's gonna be good to go. Anyway, I hope this helped. And if it did, please give the video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.